Hey, what's up guys? This is Anthony from Anthony's Customs and for this review, we are continuing our series of multiverse figure reviews. It's not really a series, it's just, uh, it's what I'm reviewing, but they are standout figures, if you know what I mean. They really stand out on a shelf, or no, not a shelf, it's not the shelf, it's, it's the toilet. That's where they stand out, because they won't flush, but that's where they belong. Most of them. This one's actually not so bad, which is kind of nice. It's nice to have a, a DC figure that doesn't blow chunks, honestly speaking. So let's go ahead and get Mr. Alfred Pennyworth off the stand so we can take a closer look. This guy stands just about 17 and a half centimeters, which makes him just about six and three quarter inches. And a lot of people told me in the comment section of my Dick Grayson a Batman figure review that the Red Robin root figure is the best from the wave. And I don't think they're giving this one enough credit. First of all, that's a Robin figure who's not Dick, and everybody knows Dick is the best Robin. And uh, Tim Drake's only okay. That's, it's a fact, you can, you can accept it. But Mr. Pennyworth here, we don't have a lot of figures of this guy, and this one is actually pretty darn nice. Not perfect, but it's pretty nice. So aesthetically speaking, they definitely could have done a better job matching the finishes of the plastic. Obviously we have different plastics here. Some are shinier than others. Unfortunately, we have like shiny sleeves and less shiny shoulders and then shiny jacket. Shiny legs, less shiny crotch area. So it's not even consistent into which parts of clothing are shiny. So it's a little bit of a bummer. Not a huge deal, but it is worth noting. His gloves are kind of a tan color, which is a little bit weird. I expected white gloves, but they're not. They're like dirty white, so that's very strange. But they did paint the shoes, they painted the sleeves, they painted on his vest. We have two different shades of gray. Gray. <laughs> I said gray almost. They painted the, the tie there. It's not bad. Like, it's not exceptional by any means. The buttons on his coat are shiny. They did it, I mean, like, purposefully shiny, so that's nice. They did a decent job painting his face. It looks pretty good. I like it. They painted a triangle on his head. I guess that's supposed to be a bald spot. What the hell? Holy crap. What the... That, that evokes different kind of swear words than the ones I use on the videos. So that's awfully bad up there. But otherwise, it's not a bad looking figure. So I'm gonna give this a seven out of 10 for aesthetics. It is definitely good enough for Alfred Pennyworth. As far as accessories go, we do have kind of a few. We have this head that came on him in the package. We have two real person heads, which are actually really nice sculpts. They're not bad at all. They did a good job with the glasses. The paints are pretty clean. I am impressed by those. And then we have one of Smeagol. I honestly have no idea what this is. I probably did at some point, but I don't anymore. And I, whatever, it looks good, I guess. And then we have a platter with a Batman mask, two separate things. The Batman mask has no sculpt on the back. It is such a lazy sculpt. And then we have an empty glass which is kind of a weird accessory, but we do have an empty glass. So accessory wise, that is not bad. As far as Alfred goes, I think they did a pretty good job and I will give that an eight out of 10. Pretty nice accessories overall. As far as articulation goes, it's not great. Luckily it doesn't need to be for Alfred. It's a very strange design for the head. There's a huge cavity in his neck because of the hinge is actually all the way down here. Who designs these figures? It's appalling. Look at, watch what happens when you move his head. You see how it's kind of like sliding? That's because instead of having the pivot for the joint right here at the top of the neck where it's curved, it's all the way down in the neck. And there's a huge joint in there that's making the head do that. It's very strange. It's dislocating the head because of that. Why would you do that? Never mind. I know why. Oh, they also have two tones of gray in his hair. Very nicely done. Shoulders work pretty well. It's actually a better suited body overall, not completely, than the Marvel Legends one. Not bad at all. Double jointed elbows. Their engineering is not good, but the sculpt is not bad for the suit. Wrists swivel and hinge. Ab crunch is all but worthless. Just about terrible. And waist twist is okay. The hips. Oh my god, the hips are beautifully well done. Let me just take a moment here to appreciate something. I'm gonna keep doing this until Hasbro fixes their Spider-Man figures. Spider-Man, geriatric butler. What's missing here? Something's not right. 
hips work really nicely on this guy. They don't go all the way forward, though I will tell I will say that. They don't go back. Thigh swivel is fine. Double jointed knee is fine. Ankles go just a tiny bit back, just a tiny bit forward, and a little bit of an ankle rocker. Just enough to basically get him balanced and standing. And that's all fine. That's perfectly good for Alfred. So I'll give it a seven. Nothing special, nothing bad. It's, uh, I guess the ab crunch is bad, and then the neck is not good. It's functional enough, but it's not good. But anyway, that's only, that's a seven. It's not gonna make a difference really for your purchase. It's Alfred, he's just gonna stand there. And I think that's good enough. So final verdict on this Alfred figure is you should pick it up. If you're a Batman collector, if you have any Batman figures like this one, for instance, although Alfred makes Batman look little now because they're just creeping bigger and bigger and bigger with the scales. Uh, that's a DCSH Batman, same as the DCU bodies for the most part. Um, he's a little big, I guess, but otherwise, you don't have another Alfred figure, especially one like this, so I think you should probably pick it up. I'll give it a 7 out of 10. That seems appropriate for what it is. It's not going to impress anybody, but it's definitely going to be good enough. So, there you go, guys. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please do give it a thumbs up. If you didn't, give it a thumbs down, and make sure you subscribe because I have new videos up just about every single day, and thousands already on the channel, so make sure you come back for all of that. And in the meantime, keep collecting.